Oh, all right, guys, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get a pump sprayer. Um, originally, I went to Lowe's. I seen online that they had a 20 gallon sprayer that you just attach to a hose and come to find out that they actually don't. I suck at reading those online home improvement websites. Um, apparently, it was pickup and it was pickup next week. So just for an update, it rained for the first time yesterday in months and I'm so excited because now I can finally put out my beneficial nematodes. But as you guys can see, the sun is setting. I definitely waited too long to make this trip to the grocery store um, and get this pump sprayer. So I'm about to go now and see if Home Depot actually has it because it says it has it online. But once again, I don't know how to read these things. So you guys are coming with me and let's go find out if they actually have it i'm crossing my fingers because i really need to do this nematode mission tonight we got uh over an inch of rain today it was the perfect deep rain to put the nematodes in finally so i really 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 need to get this pump sprayer so let's go okay so just so you guys can see what i'm saying aisle 49 bay 008 what the hell is a bay i have no idea the lady said that it should be right here it says sprayers oh thank god they have them in stock they didn't have any at lowe's so i only see this one this is not what i came here for but if it's all they have it's what i will take mm -hmm. I'm desperate, so I'm thinking it's gonna be that. Might as well just go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Thank you. My God. I got it. Yeah. This is on. All right, y'all, so we about to get started. As you can see, I am getting suited and booted. There are so many mosquitoes in Florida, wasp, snakes, all type of stuff. So it's good that you're fully covered when you go out into the garden. And I'm pregnant, so it was a little hard to get on today. This is what the beneficial nematodes actually look like. This is showing how many of each species is in this packet. Um, and yeah, so I'm about to open it and get it put into this five gallon bucket that I have behind me. I already filled the bucket up halfway with water and then I'm gonna go in and fill the rest up so that the nematodes get fully immersed and um, cover evenly i was very surprised in how little it was in the package because when you see uh 250 million or however many was in there i just assumed that it would be more coarse um and that it would be more of the actual powder but it's very little and per the instructions you can mix this with either a gallon to five gallons of water. So saying that I had a huge amount of space to cover, I opted to use the five gallons of water. Um, I don't, I'm sure it would be more concentrated if you use less water, but the instruction said that you can do up to that amount. So I used the maximum amount of water. And as you can see, the water is kind of cloudy, but it's not like concentrated. So I definitely was thinking when I was going to be using this that it wouldn't be so transparent. Um, I'm sure if I mixed it with less water, like I said, it would be more concentrated, but it still does what it needs to do per the instructions with this amount of water. So I'm just going to have faith that this is going to work with it looking like this. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm starting out with my squash bed first. 
because in the first video that you all saw that I had grubs in the garden, this was the bed that they were in. I have not seen any grubs in my garden in this bed um, since I first established it, but I'm not necessarily digging around in the soil so I wouldn't see them. But either way, everywhere I have squash, I'm spraying the heck out of this stuff because I don't want any vine borers this season. I definitely don't want any grubs in the soil. So I'm going to make sure that I saturate this as best as I can. But like I said, it's like a mist. So it's not like it was getting soaked, you know. So I was actually feeling very anticlimactic and confused when I was doing it. Like, am I really doing anything? I don't know. I hope so. This is what they told me to do. So um, I'm just going to keep you guys updated. Um, at the end of the video, I do a one month update on what the garden looks like. So you guys will get to see if it worked or not. But I definitely was feeling a little crazy out here just spraying this stuff everywhere. And my camera ran out of battery, so you don't get to see me do the whole yard, but you don't need to see that anyway. So, yeah. All right, lovers, I'm here to give you all an update on our beneficial nematode journey. It has been over a month since I put the beneficial nematodes in the garden. Um, as you can see, everything is thriving. I have not seen any more grubs. Granted, I have not been digging, so I'm not quite sure what the grub situation is like, to be honest. Um, when I was doing the beneficial nematodes, it was quite anticlimactic. Um, I was expecting something a lot more, I don't know, just prolific when it was happening, but it was just very subtle, uh, gentle spray, so I have really no idea what the chemistry like is uh, of the soil is excuse me but i hear that it takes um like six months for you to really see the difference in your soil what i will say is that my squash has been squash vine bore free which is the first time ever and as you guys can see i don't know if you can tell it is blitzing hot it is 90 degrees right now so um this is definitely the time that we have heavy pests in the garden and i have not seen um any real pest damage to any of the plants that we have growing out here so i definitely think that there's a lot of beneficial um beneficial nematodes beneficial bugs in the garden now opposed to what it was before and more so as far as the grubs i have not seen any grub damage to any of my plants they're all very healthy right now which you guys will see in the garden tour that is coming out next week um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update i am going to do another beneficial nematode treatment when the rainy season comes just to ensure that there's a good amount of beneficial nematodes in the soil um, because like I said, I, I can't really tell <laughs> based on the spray that you saw me do. Um, I don't know why I thought I would see the nematodes flying everywhere and then I would see them eat everything up. Like I really just expected some middle <laughs> ancient historic war that was going to happen with the nematodes being added into the garden. But that, yeah, didn't happen. So all I'll be able to utilize as proof is the abundance of the garden this year which it is so abundant this year so stay tuned for what we have growing and thank you so much for tuning in i hope you found this video helpful and comment below if there's anything else that i can add um share that will help you treat grubs in your garden all right see you later love you